Right then, guys, welcome back to another video. We are here with Ed Sellers. Nice to meet you guys. How are we doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. All good. We're in the beautiful city of Liverpool for a change. A little bit of a different bit of scenery. We're a bit sick of doing videos in Manchester, so we thought we would pop out. Home bargains here. Quite a big one. It's looking decent, this. Now, Ed, you pretty much just do wholesale, don't you? Don't yeah. Do much more wholesale arbitrage. So, I'm going to show you a bit of retail arbitrage today. I'll tell you all I know and see if we can incorporate a bit of that into your business. Oh, is your wholesale going so far? Because you're going all right. You want wholesale well, mentorship, aren't you? Yes, wholesale yeah. mentorship started in about February. Okay. I've not really had the capital to get started yet, but I'm getting towards the capital where I can getting start it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the understanding yeah. at least. Yes. So you're ready um, to go. But as you said, retail might be a way to get even more capital yeah. to start it. So that's good in the meantime. Yeah, it could be quite interesting that we can Perfect. Have a look at. Let's go inside, see what products we can find. We're gonna hit probably some boots as well, see if we've got any good clearance sections cool. and let's go in, take a look. Boom. You follow our seller circle guys, didn't you? So yes. Essentially I call it, it the Bible person. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Summer Circle, go on. <laughs> so yeah, let's, I usually have a bit of a walk round, just yeah. to climatise myself first, then we'll get in the Discord, we'll see what leads are in there, and we'll take it from there, basically. Perfect. I'll tell you what we, actually we did the same sort of video yesterday, I'll tell you what we yeah. don't look for. So, stuff like that, pointless, yeah. not gonna be on Amazon. We're still looking for big brands, branded items. Would you, I'm guessing you wouldn't do just bigger objects like that, for example. If it makes money, it makes money. Yeah. I mean, if this is making three pound, then no pointless because it's going to be a nightmare yeah. to fit enough in a UPS box. That's what you got to think about. Yeah. Like for example, these, these could make, I don't know, three pound, maybe you buy them for a five, sounds good. But if you can only fit, I mean, if they're making two pounds, you can only fit, I don't know, eight of them in a UPS yeah. box. By the time you took your four or five pound off for the shipping oh, then there's not much left, well, yeah. exactly. How do you actually ship larger items? So, like, for that example, because I don't know that one fit in a box. Depends in a box. how long this is. So, um, UPS box, you can send anything as long as yeah. the side isn't longer than 63 and a half centimetres. So if this is longer than 63 and a half centimetres, we would say to UPS that this is the box. Yeah. And we'd put a UPS label on it. Right. But you can only, it, it, so you, anything that's longer than 63 and a half, yeah. it's one unit per oh, box. Enough. I couldn't like take two of these up and put yeah. a label on it. So anything smaller, it's just simple as just fitting them in the yeah. box and finding a box size that suits best. Yeah. Because obviously with something that's quite thin, not so tall, but really long is a bit of a headache. Yeah. That's why yeah. pallets can be good to start at. They're really, really big brands. I call them like mega brands, fairy, things like that. The, the things that would yeah. be really hard to get a trade account with now, they can be quite hard to make money on because everywhere's got them at the yeah. same price. Fair enough. Sometimes you can put things in like a multi-pack and you'll see that a lot with the leads where it might be. Yesterday we saw like shampoo and a conditioner. Yeah. So you put the two together and boom, it makes money. Um, and that will be like big brands, but usually it's the smaller brand. Would you try and stay away from Villa North, for example, and go with like an Astonish, because that's like a- Usually it'd be more likely to sell better yeah. on Amazon, yeah, because it's not, well, those would sell very well on Amazon, yeah. but it'd be dominated by Amazon selling on there, which yeah. can then be quite hard to compete. Well, straight to wholesale, more because of a scalability, because with retail arbitrage, I mean, there's a there's like a limit to what you can yeah. scale it to, but with wholesale, you can buy the sky's a limit, so exactly. that's why I kind of chose wholesale more. Re retail's good, but, you making money from retail depends on you being here, spending your yeah. time. You can still do a grand, two grand, three grand a month, but you're going to be in the stores all day, yeah. which is fine if that's what you want. It's really good for beginners. I advise yeah. everyone do it as a beginner, um, unless you just don't want it. You want to go straight to wholesale like you did. Yeah. Um, they just do that. <laughs> CQC TJ MLTD. Yeah. That's Home Bargains is Limited Company. All right. So they've just made this themselves. Mm. And usually, obviously, there's not really many people searching for this. Oh, no. So they just go yeah. to Home Bargains. But what do you do about, because I've seen some things on like Instagram and TikTok and like electronics and, and no go on Amazon, but is that right or wrong? You can because sell. Returns, maybe. You can sell them. Sometimes you will get returns yeah. if it's like cheap yeah. stuff like this because it breaks, you ain't got batteries. They're, they're more returnable yeah. goods. Um, that's why we don't sell clothes, don't sell bags, don't sell watches, jewelry, because they'll all just get yeah. returned or people would try and like get the money back or you just want to sell like, like that yeah. pink stuff if you're buying pink stuff on amazon you're buying it because you need to clean yeah. something it's not going to get there and you think oh it's a bit small enough or oh, yeah. it doesn't fit i uh, you just yeah. use it for so, yeah this this sort of stuff 
shy away from. I've seen these knocking them out before, and it can just be an idea of just going out and just scanning stuff. Yeah. Just see, seeing what's I'm at, seeing what you've got. So this isn't going to make money already because before I put my cost price in, we've only got 27 oh, here right. Yeah. So again, it's looking and seeing what the buy box. Yeah. The buy box is dirt cheap, same price as here. Stay away from it. If it makes money, it makes money. To the fair, I saw someone that was found like an American cereal brand, yeah. and no, no one was on the listing. Like no, like massive company that yeah. started making loads. Do you know why that would make money? To stay well, you can't go walking here and yeah. get an American cereals. You yeah. gotta think in a way like the customer customer would go on Amazon yeah. and like that that's why it sells so much it's to put the three of these with one of these yeah and used to sell loads of times a month I'll try to pull up the listing for you got a lot of them from EFG yeah 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 is that the wholesaler that you went to yeah, yeah, yeah. on ah I thought about the YouTube so it's there there you go straight to the top oh wow yeah on that are you still on the listing? 1,000, no, not anymore. No, I don't sell them anymore. 1,200 a month they sell. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It used to be, from back in the day, they put the prices up now, but yeah. I used to be able to buy these direct from Baker for, for one pound four per excluding VAT. So I put three of them together, and then these were like, I don't know, about two pound 50, something like that. So you're looking at about, they were costing me about five pound 50 at the time. And when I sold them, it was like COVID. So this was yeah. up here at about 22 quid. So I was making ridiculous numbers on them that's all right that's all right that's things change yeah. prices come down prices go up thousands probably like a good few thousand pounds yeah i'll send them for a while probably over 10 grand but it's wholesale that yeah is, that you can come here and do it you know the simple things they're like 10 grand on somewhere that you wouldn't i know you did i mean walking around here and everything you would never think yeah you felt. no you wouldn't and they used to sell everything i'd sell these ones yeah i'd sell these by themselves these ones had you could sell them in a two pack yeah there was like two listings for two packs three listings for three packs yeah there was one four pack there was a five pack there is a six pack so i was clearing these on all sorts of listings i was buying pallets and pallets and pallets of yeah. these and that's why i went to efg to get some because Baker Fall had ran out and EFG had low. Yeah. So I paid a little bit more for me EFG, but they were selling so high, you can take the risk then. Do you know what I mean? How, we, how long was it taking you to wrap them? Well, obviously to pull them into bar That's when I got my friends involved yeah. to come in and go three in this one, three in this one, four in this one, four in this one, because it was, it's so pointless you're yeah. in that. When you're at the level where you can, you've got all those products and you've got so much time to find more, but you've got to put it into just going, oh, three in here, yeah. three in here. Get your friends in to do it, because they'll love it. If you've got mates at yeah. uni, and they, you can just say, oh, I've got six hours of work this Sunday, give you ten or an hour, 60 quid, perfect. It's well easier than you doing it. Yeah. And they'll do it quickly, and you can use them just ad hoc. That's what yeah. I did. I just had a group chat. I just said, who wants to work this Monday? <laughs> you know what I mean? And whoever, yeah, it's free, we'd just do it. So it's definitely worthwhile. Fair enough. It's just, I just wouldn't have expected that, if I'm honest. Yeah, Nearly. exactly. There you go. Boom. If you are interested in getting involved with online retail arbitrage platform in Seller Circle, make sure to click the website below. You can go over to the website, you can pay monthly, £50 a month, or you can do it tri monthly, or you can do lifetime, whatever you like. We provide you with 15 to 20 product leads every single day, weekly calls, QAs, live chats, one to one support, startup guide absolutely everything. So if you want to get started with Amazon, this is the easiest, most beginner friendly way to do it. Click below, get your membership. Super easy, super simple. I'll see you soon. Right, so some of these gift sets can be really, really good. Yeah. Especially at Christmas. We sold loads of these ones All right. um, at Christmas last year. Seven, nine, let's see if they're actually still making money. So again, just come on here and scan it. Yep. And obviously, there you go. Boom, these are, I've oh, still got the same, see if it will keep the same price in there. Yeah. So if we scan these, you know, two days ago, it will keep the price in there. So All right. in there is $7.99. I'm gonna screen record this so that we can pop it up on the side here. Yeah. So this is $7.99, but do you know I was telling you about variations yeah. earlier? That little icon there means that it's variation listing. Yeah. So this itself won't be selling 600 times a month. What you need to do is scroll down to variations there click check and it will then work it out you can see that there's another variant on the same listing which has a wash bar. Yeah. this one that we're looking at has 43 percent of the recent reviews we can therefore assume that 601 
40% of those sales off of this. So it's still sending a good 200, 250 odd times per month. What's the minimum percentage you'd actually choose? Like, of the so, variation, so what's the minimum percentage? It depends on the sales per month. Yeah. So um, let's say it's 30 sales per month. I wouldn't really want anything less than 100% because I really want at least 30 sales per month unless it's a decent profit or it's a slow seller, there's not much competition yeah. on there. So it's dependent on the sales per month. So if it's 100 sales per month, yeah. you'd want at least 30% of the reviews, if that makes yeah, sense. that makes sense. But yeah. then you've got to think 30% of the reviews, but then how many people are competing on here as well? Yeah. Because that's how it's going to be spread out. So you can see 1466, 1475, I think that's where the buy box is, 1475. Um, so you compete with that person, compete with this person because they're FBA, this person's FBM, not going to be compete with them, yep. they're 1499, not going to be compete with them, it's too high. So you're really only competing with these three people. Now you may be thinking, this guy's 1466, why has he not got the buy box? The buy box holder's in bold. That'll just be because their inbound stock yeah. hasn't got there yet, it's not arrived. They've sent it in UPS, but it's not quite there. So they'll still be displayed, but they won't have the buy box. But when they do have it, it'll go down to 14. Are they realistic stock numbers of what's, what they've actually got on? Depends if they've got basket limits on ah, that. Right. And if, if their stock is inbound, it sometimes doesn't give you the realistic stock yeah. numbers. So I could put a basket limit on my product there and say, each Customer can only buy one. All SaaS is doing is going to the basket and trying to add 999 so it can tell you, but it's been stopped. It's saying, oh, we can only yeah. add one, but it doesn't give me a alert, so it could just be one. Yeah. I don't tend to look at the stop month numbers too much for that reason, um, because you're still, it doesn't matter, even if they've got a thousand yeah. or ten, it will make a little bit of effect, but it's so minuscule. As long as you can get in there and share some sales, I mean, this is selling about 200 times a month, competing with three person, will be the fourth. 50 sales a month. I mean, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on there. Maybe we go to another BM, pick up another, you know, 50 and send in like 25 to start. Yeah. Just see how that goes and just do it as a test. Send in less. There's nothing wrong with testing because these aren't going anywhere. These aren't a special price. They'll probably be at this price all year round. Well, maybe not near Christmas, but if this works well, you send it in today, check again in a week if a lot of them have sold, yeah. just go straight back down to you, go get some more, as easy as that. Would you ever contact the actual brand or a wholesaler on that to... Yeah, you can do, and usually some more. it will have the details somewhere here on the back, usually by the barcode. No, we ain't got any details on here, but, oh, here we go. Do you see here? Do you see that on there? So this is obviously L'Oreal, it's a huge brand. By all means, contact them, but they'll probably have a big minimum order yeah. to take because it's such a big brand. But for something smaller, a niche, for example, um, what do we have here? I think this is Unilever, because we looked at this yesterday. You see Unilever yeah. in there. It's a huge brand, again, be hard to buy from. But some of these little perfumes and things like that will have distributor. Can you see here, imported by, yeah. and there's a limited company on there so all you do is type that in and they will be an importer of these types of perfumes if they sell well they're the top people to go to so it's an easy way yeah. to find wholesale leads as well that's definitely worth it there you are there um, for example this as well made in england mpm consumer products home to so just type that in boom you've got it so if you type that in it's just going to come up with yeah. like home bargains b and m it probably won't bring that actual brand that you're looking for there's a bit of wholesale knowledge for you. What does it, what does it happen when it comes up with that? So, sometimes this will happen if it's like a barcode like this. Now, sometimes there may be a better barcode on there. It doesn't seem like there is. Usually a barcode will have like a full number underneath, yeah. but this one doesn't. It could be that this is potentially made by B&M. Yeah, can you see there? TJM oh, yeah. Limited. So the, this barcode would just suit their tills. That's oh, why. So right. usually this won't be on Amazon. But what you could do, do you know at the top of SaaS? Yeah. Just type in my first drop and roll tower. Probably not going to be on there because it's made for this specific store. It's made to look like oh, right, yeah. so people people yeah, buy brands. Yeah. They'll come in here and think, oh, that's a brand. I'll get this. Quite it's looks like something I've that. seen before. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. We are at some Oops. bad boy retail park, to be fair. It's just looking decent. Myths, Wilco. <laughs> Super drug boots. I reckon we go to boots first. Would you ever go into Smiths? Yeah, we have before. Again, works like wildfire in Q4. Yeah. Um, but we'll go and have a try, see if there's anything in Smiths. 
It's more, we just want to give you some knowledge, yeah. guys. Give you the info, show you the RA. So, just picked up this product. Uh, gonna have a look at this now. As you can see, when we scanned it, 140, yeah. 143K BSR. Now, BSR stands for best seller, man. The higher that number is, the worse it is. It's gonna be hardly selling. You want a nice low BSR. Yeah. This is really high. That's why it's got unknown sales per month. So this is useless. Let's not look at this. Um, where else have we got? Something like this as well, good, but when it's got no liner in, if it's missing something, yeah. pointless, you know, on Amazon. Again, could type it in and could search it. Off plan, not sure what that means. It's something like this as well, um, you'll want to check the date on it. 1123, so you've not got lung left on that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Can't hear. This is £13 and then so it's per month. Some of these I've seen can be quite good. I'm just saying something about the CBD ones. Would CBD be an issue seller on Amazon? If it's on Amazon, yeah. no. <laughs> you, I don't think it's meant to be on there. Yeah. I'll have to check, but if that listing's on there and that listing's on there, you're going to be allowed to sell it. Try adding it to your inventory. It may come up with some extra yeah. legislation that you're going to need to have in place. And again, if you're hitting a few boots in a day, you could hit five boots. You get a load of them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People think, oh, it's not worth it. But when you you might find something else, then yeah. you go to that store over there. Very easily builds up. You've only got to go five different stores, £20 profit in yeah. each store, it's £100 in a day, yeah. and it will not take you a day to go to five different stores. Yeah. Either. That's the same way, then if you, do, if you double that and you do 10 stores a day, exactly. then you, you're paying for fuel, at exactly. least you're paying for fuel, yeah, exactly. multiple. And in a week, you can easily do 10 stores a day, yeah, yeah. £200 a week, £800 a month. It's not bad that. It's like that like, um, YouTube video I saw with the guy that made 20K in his first month for revenue. Yeah. From, um, just from doing this? Yeah, just from Repsell Arbitrage, yeah. which is, quite crazy it's crazy yeah but it is doable you've just yeah. got to put time and time and time into it not everyone will have enough time to go around and scan that many yeah. things and do it full time but if you can go and pick stuff up like this I that's nothing let's go let's check the discord and see if we've got any leads in boots yeah. we have yeah we saw from some from yesterday let's see if they've got them here so we got some let's have a look here oh wow so what is this? That is body wash. But we need uh, God, who's that? We need a shower gel as well. So the way it works with this, your buy price is eleven ninety nine because it's three for two. But there's not enough of them. But we could get these here, yeah, and then go to another boots and try and find these. And if not, just return these at the next one. That's what most people would do. Fair enough. Obviously, someone's obviously come in here because they want a good deal and got them. But with that, your buy price for both of them would be eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Sell it for just under twenty one quid, two pound seventy one profit, twenty two percent ROI. Not the yeah. best ROI, but they sell eighty four times a month, so it's not the worst thing in the world. For example, a like a, an aerosol like this, would yeah. it be a hazmat product? Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't be. It yeah. depends what Amazon classify it as. So if we do that there, not on Amazon typically, but it will come up in the alert section oh, right. um, and it will say like HZ, it will say hazmat, yeah. but not all the time. Does it class it? No, just saying PL because it's a very small listing. Yeah. So we'll pop up the lead here. We've had another Soap and Glory lead come through. Now, as you can see at the bottom, 10% student discount. All right. Uh, if you got a student discount card, you'll get a further 10% off. Make sure buy price. Well, in fact, how's that working? Um, we have a student discount code generator. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. So no. for all your student discount needs, you can uh, jump in the Discord and we generate them. So these are three oh, wow. for two with your student discount as well. That makes a buy price for a two pack of these five mm, nine pound fifty nine. Sell a two pack of these for seventeen ninety nine leaves you with two pound sixty three profit. 27% ROI and they sell 100 tires a month. So if I was you, I would pick up all of these yeah. as well, send them in. If you find some more, you can always more yeah. pack them also. But you know, got a pack of those, we've got £2.50, £5, £7.50, £10, £12, £15 there. So, you know, not bad clumped with the 20 pound that yeah. we found there as well. That's 35 pound for this shot. Found about 20 pound in the other one. You, you're above 50 pound there. Oh, that's and up, we've only been to two shops within about an hour. Yeah. So it does add up very quickly. That's the thing. You might have to shop around. You might yeah. not be far, able to find things. They might not have stock, but it does add up very, very quickly as well. Would you ever add up stuff like, let's say, a body wash and a body lotion in a package? 
only if there's a listing for yeah. it. Yeah, so if there's a listing for it and if it's selling well, yes. I wouldn't go through and create a new listing for it though because uh, right. this will be on the fifth page of Amazon. No one's going to be clicking it. It won't be getting any sales. You'd have to run ads on there to get people to start buying it. But then that will eat into your profit. You'll probably be left in a loss. Yeah. So stay away from making new listings. Waste of time. Just sell them as two packs yeah. when they're already on there. And again, whatever store you come to, like we just looked in Pets at Home, it was absolutely terrible. But they do have clearance bits and bobs. So always ask for the clearance. A lot of the time, some of it can be rubbish. But you may find one or two things in here that are worthwhile going for. So all Always, whatever store you go to, ask for the clearance section. So, quick question: How did you find out about Seller Circle initially? Instagram. Instagram. Uh, and yeah. YouTube. I mean, it came up on my trending page on my on the YouTube. Yeah, it's good it's good <laughs> yeah, that's how I found out about it. Started watching the videos, looked into it a bit more, looked into yourself, right? How you got started, and then got sold. Did it from was, there? Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm doing this straight away. What made you choose Seller Circle over like? some of the other groups that are out there um just due to the actual platform and yourself obviously just seeing what we're doing yeah, yeah because you seem like just very trustworthy on through instagram yeah rather than some of the other people so stuff that they put on yeah so i kind of feel like the world yeah, yeah. see is like they're a bit we, fake just i always say to people yeah we try and be realistic i'm not going to come here and fake it and say oh yeah. you know these make 20 pound these but i'd rather be realistic yeah exactly i don't want people to think that they can just go to a store and pick up 200 pounds of profit it's doable if you look at yeah. but it's not going to happen in every single store I'd much rather be realistic with people yeah. so they know what they're getting themselves in for you know you're not going to be making a thousand pound a month in your first week it's not going to happen but you can build to that level very very easily yeah. but you've got to put the work in we can tell you how to do it give you all the stuff but you've got to put the work yeah. in at the end of the day which yeah. we're going to get going out I think that's what um, kind of drew me towards you because there's a realism about how you yeah. can go in somewhere and you don't find anything exactly whereas every the other people I saw yeah they, they would put that in the video yeah, exactly they would put that video oh, more often than not, well, yeah. our video will just be full of shops that you go in, can't find anything, can't find anything here. But then, like I said, over there is about £100 worth of profit. Yeah. Just like that. So it doesn't matter. You could have spent all morning, not found anything, then just scan one thing, boom, £100. That's your day's wage. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. That's how you got to look at it. Is there anything that you'd absolutely never, ever, ever sell? Can't, can't go, um, no. Clothing. Clothing. Go near. Yeah, because... People get it, wrong size, wrong colour, doesn't fit right. Your returns are going to be through the roof. You do get charged a little bit on returns. It'll be a small percentage depending on how yeah. it works out, but you'll end up in a loss overall because there'll be so many returns. Um, luggage, just because it's huge and it's just worthless. Jewellery, um, what else don't we sell? Any sort of food that has short date lives on, we won't go near either. You want at least a long date life on there, but mainly just clothing, jewellery, watches, shoes and bags as well, because shoes, you never know how they yeah. fit at the end of the day, do you? But It's a high return. I'd exactly. Think. You want to sell stuff like this. If I go on Amazon looking for these dishwasher tablets, I'm 100% going to use these. I'm yeah. going to put them in my kitchen. You're not going to get many returns on this because they're not going to come and think, oh, that wasn't quite what I was looking for. There's a dishwasher yeah. tablet in it. Yeah, exactly. It's the same brand you always buy. They don't have them in the shop anymore. So you've gone to Amazon to get them. Simple as that. Fair enough. I always say stay away from the mega brands yeah. that Amazon just dominate. Usually they'll be cheaper on Amazon than they are yeah. in the end. So let's have a look. What are we up to next? Smiths. Now we haven't Smiths. been in Smiths in a while. I don't think we've been in Smiths since the Oliver video. But sometimes there are some good finds in here, particularly towards Q4. There's yeah. do a lot of reductions, things like that. Um, but they do hate the camera. So we'll be going low key in here. Let's have a look. This is what we're looking for. Some Hot Wheels monster trucks. I'm sure it's going to be an absolute nightmare to find. Uh, buy price, £12. Sell it for £24. Wow. £5.19 profit. However, we're only looking at 40 sales a month. But we can look at the competition. Yeah. See if there's much on there. Let's go and find it first. This is what we're looking for. We'll it. So again, when I scan this, does it come up? So if it doesn't come up, jump in the top there and type it in instead. So it's actually sitting at £7.72 profit at the moment. This has gone up quite considerably. Do a review check on here. 33% so they're selling 72 times a month. But then we need to do 0.33. So around 23 times per month. But again, they're making £7 profit each. Um, 
only one person yeah. that we're competing with on there as well. There's a lot of FBA sellers, but they're all at 2840. Um, so we're not competing with many people at 2699. We're only competing with one person. So, you know, 23 sales a month, maybe we can shift 10 of these in a month. You know, 77 pound there just from 10 of these. It's quite good. Um, I'll let you file like, but would you do a test of those? Oh. I probably would. Yeah, I probably would. The price won't change that much. And again, you can look on the graph, see where the price has been previously. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a screen recording now for you guys so you can see this and understand. We'll pop this up to the side. Um, if we have a look over the last month, this pink line is where the buy box is. So on average, to be honest with you, the buy box is much lower. We're usually sitting around £23. Yeah. And more recently, it's risen up to this £26.99. So actually, it's abnormal to be selling that high. We'd usually be looking at around £23.99. So if we wanted to be more realistic, we need to do that, but we're still making five pounds at the point. unit. But that's why it's important to have a look through this graph, see what it's looking like, yeah. and also look over the year as well, see what it was like last Q4 also. Um, but what I would do, scan all the other stuff here as well, because yeah. there's probably other things here that are profitable. Like I said, if we have a look on here, um, so Bigfoot's got 33%, five alarm, if you can see five alarm. So five alarm here, let's go on this. So five alarm is, let's go down. And again, we've got the screen recording on here, 27%, so 27% yeah. of 72, they're making five pound profit each as well. So if you can find all of them, then in theory, you're getting 72 yeah. sales per month, you're only competing with one person, split that in half, 35 sales each, 35 times around a fiver, you're looking at what? Let me do the maths, Andrew. About 200 odd pounds. Wow. Not too bad, really. So and that's just one lead. You could go clear that exactly. Well, exactly. Is, well, you, you wouldn't could... even need to buy all of it. Yeah. It'd be too much then. 16.99 reduced. Let's give it a bit of a scan. This was a lead within the Seller Circle Discord. Uh, no, not selling how it was anymore. So the price on the lead is £25.50. This was mid last month, to be honest with you. We're now into the new month. It's now come down to £19.79. Um, and a lot of people are on here. I would imagine that this was maybe reduced in testing yeah. or something like that as well. So everyone has sworn to it because it's such a good deal and the price has come down. But even still, after all that reduction from £26 to £19.99, you're still making a pound on them. So I wouldn't buy them now, yeah. but if a reduction happens, if too many people jump on a listing, you're not losing anything. Yeah. That's the thing. The last thing you want to do is lose. So the more profit margin that you can have to play with, the better. And that's why I wouldn't buy loads as well. I wouldn't come in here and pick up 20. Start slow. Just found a product down there with a BSR of 300. And obviously BSR is different in each category. There's something that's 100, uh, 300th most popular in shoes will not be selling nearly as much as something that's most popular in toys and games. Yeah. So something that was ranked 300 in toys and games was selling three and a half thousand times per month. So, you know, something that's ranked 1,000, 10,000, 20,000 will still be selling a decent amount of times. So, fantastic day. A little bit of retail arbitrage today. Do you reckon you learned a decent amount? I've learned a hell of a lot, actually. I've learned quite a bit, actually, about just what to look for, what not to look for, yeah. what to buy, what not to buy. Yeah and how to buy correctly. Yeah, and how to just reduce that risk overall. That's super, super key. Don't buy things that are not making money. Don't buy things that are not selling enough. Yeah. You might find something that you think selling quite a lot, but then it's a variation listing. Then you've got competition on there too. Want to be cautious of all of these things, guys. Losing money is the last thing you want to do, and it can happen if you're not educated correctly. So thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. You very much. Hope you learned a lot. We'll have to do another day like this yeah. soon. Um, and yeah, if you want to get involved, drop a comment below and we'll come and do a video like this with you. Make sure to like and subscribe. 60% of you are still not subscribed and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we do. We've got some fantastic content coming soon, videos, podcasts, etc. So make sure to subscribe below.